Welcome to Take 5. Here is your host, Dr. Driver. Welcome to Take 5. I'm your host, Dr. Driver. You know, as I was reading the scriptures uh, this past uh, week on the Old Testament, I go into different areas of the Old Testament for my studies, I found an a interesting theme. One of the themes that comes out when you read the Old Testament is how Israel was disobedient, rebellious. And I thought, wow, they had Moses as a leader. They had Joshua as a leader. They had all these judges as a leader. Um, those leaders were really amazing. Uh, you know, I can look at Samson, Ehud. I can look at so many of them. And I yet was like, why are they being rebellious and disobedient? So the scriptures came to life for me. Now, <laughs> God is patient. God is good. And we can sin and sin and sin. And yet God is faithful. His grace, listen to me, his grace is everlasting. His grace endures forever. But I don't want to take advantage of his grace. We sin. We must confess our sin. When we sin in thought, word, and actions, listen to me, you must confess your sins. Don't be rebellious like Israel was. Just don't. To me, I'd rather fear God and obey his commandments. And the book of instructions, that's aka known as the Torah, the book of instructions Moses gave to the people uh, through Joshua as well to lead them to the promised land. And yet they still were rebellious. And every time they had disaster, calamity, they cried out, oh Lord, save us. And the Lord did. Through the leaders that God appointed to deliver them from those pagan nations. We can't be stubborn, my friends. We cannot be stubborn. So I want to read 1 Peter chapter 1. And I want to talk about living before God and living before him with a, with a healthy mind and with a, with a right spirit. It starts off in verse 13. It says, gird up the loins of your mind. Be sober and rest your hope fully upon the grace that is to be brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as, let me stop right here now, obedient children. So even Peter is saying in the New Testament that we have to be prepared for battle. Israel was always in battles because God was giving them the land to occupy. So they had to fight to get that land. It wasn't just handed to them easily. Here you go. So we learned through the Old Testament and the New Testament that we're going to go through trials and temptations. You listen to my sermon on our podcast channel as well. But you have to think about this. This is where it really gets really fishy for some people. They literally think God is just going to fight all the battles and they don't have to do a thing. That's not correct. We're going to go through testing. We're going to go through trials. But even in those testings and trials and those battles that we go through, my friends, we must prepare our mind for battle. We must prepare ourselves knowing that we're going to go through things, but we must be obedient. Hear me now. Obedient to the word of God. So Paul or Peter, Peter is saying, gird up your loins of your mind. Straighten them up. Get them prepared. Here we go. Be sober. That's sober-minded, okay? Sober-minded. Rest your hope fully upon the grace that is brought to you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lust. You see, what's getting people in trouble, just like Israel, just read through the whole five books of the Old Testament, you'll see a pattern there. They're so used to fulfilling the flesh. They want to go back to Egypt. They want to eat the food of Egypt. They want to have all the things that they thought was comfortable, but yet they were in slavery. We can be enslaved by our mind to think of the things of the past. Even though the past had some serious problems for us, for you, God delivered you from the past. So you can live a victorious life like Israel 
had the opportunity by the leadership of Moses and Joshua and the judges. You can get into the promised land if you stay obedient to God. That's the good news. So Peter is saying the same thing. You had your former lust. You had your former way of life. Get rid of that. Put it aside. Look straight ahead. Gird your mind. You know, get, get your mind prepared. You're going into spiritual warfare. You're going to spiritual battle. So let me close with this. He says, looking at, again, 14, as obedient children, not conforming yourselves to the former lust as in your ignorance, but as he who called you is holy, you also, listen to me, be holy in all your conduct because it is written, be holy for I am holy. I fall short all day long. I am not perfect. Listen, my friends, I, I fall short every day. But here's the good news. Jesus Christ died on the cross of Calvary, and he has given us the victory because of his shed blood. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So I don't want to live in ignorance anymore. I don't want to live in the past anymore. I don't want to live a life that is in disobedience of God. My former life, my former lust, my former uh, way of doing things is gone. God brought me Jesus Christ, my friends, and his Holy Spirit is guiding me, leading me, informing me, teaching me to be holy for God is holy. You can be holy for God is holy. All I ask, all I ask, my friends, is this, as we close. If you believe in Jesus and you have the Holy Spirit in you, stop looking in the review mirror. Just stop it. Gird your mind up. The loins of your mind. Just gird them up. Get them protected. Get your mind sober. Get ready for spiritual battle. It's always going on. But you have the victory because of what Jesus did for you. He died on the cross for your sins and rose from the grave. You have the gift of the Holy Spirit, my friends. You can tell Satan, get behind me. For it is written, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. That is my prayer. Be holy, for God is holy. Strip away anything in your life that can cause you to be rebellious just like Israel. And stay focused. Stay on the path. Be holy, for God is holy. This is my hope for you in Jesus' name. May God bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you to give you hope as well. Join me again on another episode of Take 5.